<laughs> Sean and Dan here. www.talkingfooty.com. Tipsters. Mate, we have the Broncos and the Knights at Suncorp. Uh, ooh, big one. Uh, mm. Knights went down last week, as did the Broncos. Uh, I think they got either team fighting out for a top eight position. Mm. I think the Knights have got more to play for, and I hate Brisbane. Yeah, so. he does, but I like the Broncos for this one. Yep. Tigers and Rabbitohs, Allianz. Look, last week you would have gone, ha, whatever. Yeah. Tigers hit a bit of form, but young Luke Brooks isn't playing this week. Yeah. Rabbitohs so there are a couple of reasons, yeah. Yeah, of it's, course. It's yeah. got to be Rabbits, mate. It mm-hmm. has to be. Uh, Roosters and Titans, Allianz again. Uh, Roosters have to take this one out. The Titans have been playing quite good football, and uh, the Roosters got ambushed last week. They haven't lost two in a row this year. Don't expect it to happen again. No, they're a sort of quality footy side at the moment. Uh, Warriors and Raiders at Mount Smart. Close one. Um, normally a club in turmoil tends to bounce back. Now, last week obviously wasn't that good against Manly, but the Warriors aren't playing the same brand of football. True. I think Canberra played cold conditions well. Yeah. I think Canberra will take this game out. I didn't tip them this week. No, I couldn't. Really? In the last three weeks, they've just been killing me. And, I, and the way, yeah, Warriors at home, I just couldn't, couldn't go yeah, past it. So, fine. Warriors for me, guys. Yeah. Uh, Bulldogs and Panthers, A and Z. Tight one, very big one. Bulldogs need to get it back on a roll. Um, Panthers need to keep their roll going. Pretty sure they're one of those five on the same points at the Um, top eight there. And Bulldogs, Panthers games always tend to be close no matter where they are in the the league. Um, Obviously, I'm going to have to go with my heart and go the Panthers, but my head says 50-50. I like Penrith too. I touched on the episode tonight and uh, definitely Penrith. It's going to happen. Beautiful. Uh, Sharks and Cowboys at Shaggy Pack. Uh, shark Cowboys. Ooh, it's a tight one. I'm gonna get the Sharks. Yeah, we touched on that earlier, and I yeah. can't remember who I went with, but I think I went North Queensland. Okay. Just because of their win last week, I thought they're coming back. So. Okay. Hot and cold, though. You can't really pick that one. That's a, that's yeah. a crazy. Sure. And Shark Pass. And uh, the blockbuster of the round: Eels and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> who cares? Unfortunately, isn't on most tipping comps. No. Um, you can't really pick the Eels at all. You can't. It just can't be done as a tip start. Even if you're a Parramatta fan, you, yeah. you really just go with your heart for that one. I'm going, to, I'm going to take the Steelers for the win. They've been struggling the last time, the, especially the second half of the season. Yeah. But, you know, at least their first half was good and that's yeah. our league to stand on. you got to pick them. Yeah. This is Sean Dan. Did we do Manly versus... No, we didn't, did we? No? Did I, mate? Oh, Manly yeah. Versus, the, right, this is the real blockbuster. The real blockbuster of the round. So he was versus Storm. Oh, sorry, mate. That was massive game. Yeah, a huge game. Third versus fourth. And there is a massive difference between the top four in this year's league. Yeah. Um, look, played at Brookvale. Scene of the famous Battle of Brookie. Mm. No Adam Blair to punch on with Glenn Stewart. There'll be someone to punch on. There'll be headbutts. There'll be something going on. I'm yeah. going to give Manly in a tight one. Melbourne are running hot and they're running really good. Yeah. But well, anyone can Man- run hot against Parramatta for 60 points. Oh, yeah, they've been running hot for a reason. Yeah, I know, really I know, well. I know. Manly really know how to grind. Yeah. But can they finish? Oh, sure. I think Jeff Tuvey will be sh- will be shooting daggers from his eyes. Yeah. That'll be Ooh. something to watch, but yeah, definitely oh, yeah. Manly as well, guys. I love it. All right. That's it. Now we're in. Sean and Dan, www.talkingfooty.com. Loving it. See you next week. Good to have you, guys. Cheers, guys.